Blood of Landlords! Hello everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video and we are about to see two things here. Uh, the first one is, and the main subject of the video, is that I wanted to show you a quick spot position on this map. I don't remember the name, but uh, the name of the map, but who cares? You will recognize this map when you play on it. And the second important fact is that, as you may know or not know, the KPZ is in store right now. So we're gonna see if it's worth it or not. So first let's talk about the position and it's straight on the cap circle. Uh, I think I think a lot of people already know this position. I think uh, here for, for the position I'm talking to noobs or newbies only because uh, this position as you can see allow you to spot the whole other side if the enemy team decided to go there and you're gonna see at the end of the battle that yeah we did a couple of uh, spotting damage here for example the 75 trying to cross and he's gonna take a couple of shots by my team which is behind me if you if you check the map they are all behind me i'm spotting for everyone because as we all know the kpz is a strong uh, strong light tank uh, joke jokes apart uh, if we focus maybe a bit more on this one the kpz i would say you need to know three things the first one is that you have a high alpha damage but you have a long reload time the second fact is that the mobility is average uh yeah average minus average i would say because uh clearly you will not be more mobile for example than an ice 8 but you will go faster than an e75 or something like that but uh for, for the last fact i would say it's the armor the armor on this thing is pretty pretty nice but not the best why because against tier 9s okay it's gonna do the work against tier 9s um, mostly tanks that are not tank destroyers because if you take a tier 9 TD with a tier 10 gun using some uh, some gold shells on your turret there is a high probability that he that he is going to penetrate you but against tier 8 and tier 9s which are not tank destroyers this tank will do the trick and we finished the 75 with an HE because, because I can. But yeah, uh, in this state of the game, I would say this tank is not worth it because you have clearly better tanks available at the moment, especially at tier 9. I'm thinking, for example, about the MX 30B first prototype. And yeah, uh, first class with only 2.8k damage. Why? Because the position I took at the beginning allowed me to spot the whole team during the whole game. As you are going to see when I click on details right there, we did 35 damage caused by player assistance which is a total of uh, approximately 6k combined between my damage and my spotting damage which is nice i hope you enjoyed don't forget you're not here to be better but to be the best pentoof over